Tim had been working as a park ranger for a very long time, and he absolutely loved his job. Each day he walked the same route, monitoring the animals' movements and checking on their water sources. And each day, even though not much changed, he was amazed by the things he saw. But when he laid eyes on this particular nest, he knew that something horrible had happened. He just never expected it would lead to a police investigation. But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Tim had walked past this nest nearly every day for the last few years. Normally, he could already hear the happy chirping of the birds from a distance, but on this day it was quiet. The usual chirping was not there, and Tim could only wonder why. This had never happened before in all those years that the nest had been in the park. Besides, there was not a single bird to be seen here. What should I do, he asked himself. He backed away and decided to check again tomorrow. If the nest still seemed empty then, he was going to take action. He still had no idea that he would find something shocking inside it. The next day, Tim arrived at the park early. He simply couldn't wait to check on that nest again, and he immediately made his way to the tree. As he approached the tree, he noticed some strange marks on the ground. He did not recognize them and knew that they could not have been made by an animal. Tim got very worried for a moment there. But after closely inspecting the rest of the area around the tree, he concluded that the birds had almost certainly not been attacked. There were no feathers or wounded birds on the ground, which led him to assume that whatever happened, they were not hurt. Or, well, that's what he hoped anyway. But where were they? Tim could finally take a look inside the nest. His suspicions were confirmed there weren't any birds inside. But this didn't mean that the nest was completely empty. No, to the contrary. He found something inside that should not have been there, and he immediately went down the ladder to grab his phone and call the police. The police, however, didn't share Tim's sense of urgency. Over the phone, their tone was dismissive, suggesting it was probably just an animal's doing or a harmless oddity. They assured Tim it wasn't something for the police to investigate, advising him to keep an eye on it but not to worry too much. Frustration nodded in Tim's stomach as he hung up the phone. Standing alone in the quiet park, Tim felt a wave of frustration wash over him. He the police's indifference stung. After wrestling with his thoughts, Tim's decision was clear. If the police wouldn't act, he would. Back at the nest, Tim began his solo investigation. He inspected the ground around the tree, looking for any signs that could explain the nest's condition. Pin footprints, discarded items, anything out of the ordinary. It was important to be thorough and objective. He took notes and photos, starting to piece together the puzzle of the silent nest and its mysterious contents. As Tim examined the peculiar marks by the tree, a realization dawned on him. These signs weren't the work of animals, they bore the unmistakable hint of human interference. With every new piece of evidence, the gravity of the situation became more apparent. Tim knew he had to document everything meticulously. Tim's investigation now had a clear focus gathering undeniable evidence. He revisited the nest, the surrounding area, and even the paths leading to it, collecting everything that could serve as proof. Tim knew he needed to be thoroughly prepared before approaching the police again. He organized his findings, creating a clear and concise report. Photographs were labeled, notes were summarized, and all the evidence was compiled in an orderly manner. Tim began to discreetly observe the group's activities. He maintained a safe distance, using binoculars to watch their movements. He noted their frequent visits, the areas they focused on, and their interactions with each other. Tim was careful not to be seen. He knew that any hint of his surveillance could scare them off or, worse, put him in danger. As days passed, Tim gathered more information about the suspicious group. He noticed patterns in their visits and the equipment they carried, which seemed unusual for regular park visitors. Tim documented everything times, dates, descriptions. Each observation added to his growing suspicion that this group was involved in whatever was happening at the nest. He observed them exchanging small, unidentifiable objects and using tools in secluded areas of the park. These secretive actions suggested they were up to something more than just innocent park visits. The pieces of the puzzle were slowly fitting together, revealing a larger, more complex picture. In this hidden area, Tim's discoveries were alarming. 
he found several tools that seemed out of place in a nature reserve, along with empty cages of various sizes. These items hinted at illegal activities, possibly wildlife trapping or something equally sinister. Tim documented everything with his camera, the gravity of his findings weighing heavily on, he on him. Tim meticulously organized his findings, the photographs of the tools and cages, notes on the suspicious group, and a detailed description of the secret area. He compiled them into a report, ensuring it was thorough and convincing. This time, he was determined to leave no room for doubt or dismissal. Armed with substantial evidence, he was ready to confront the police again. With his report in hand, Tim contacted the police. He explained his discoveries and expressed the urgency of the situation. He highlighted the unusual activities, the tools, and the cages emphasizing their potential threat to the park's ecosystem. Tim urged the police to take his findings seriously and to assist in further investigating these alarming signs of disturbance in the park. The police, now convinced by Tim's evidence, agreed to join forces with him. It was a significant moment for Tim. His hard work and determination had finally paid off. Together, they formed a plan to investigate further. The plan evolved into a sting operation designed to catch the perpetrators in the act. Tim and the police worked together on every detail, from the positioning of officers to the timing of the intervention. During the sting operation, Tim and the police made a startling discovery in the nest that was hiding a cache of rare animal eggs. These eggs were not native to the park and their presence there was both illegal and dangerous for the local ecosystem. This discovery was the missing piece of the puzzle linking the mysterious activities in the park to wildlife smuggling. The smugglers had been using the park as a secret hub for their illicit activities, endangering rare species. This network was more extensive and organized than anyone had anticipated, operating under the cover of the park's natural beauty. The operation was a success. The smugglers, caught red-handed with the rare eggs, were arrested. The evidence gathered by Tim combined with the police's strategic planning, led to a swift and effective capture. The smugglers, now caught, faced the legal consequences of their actions. The court proceedings revealed the depth of their illegal activities, emphasizing the severity of wildlife smuggling. Justice was served as they received sentences commensurate with their crimes. This outcome was a significant victory for wildlife protection and a testament to the importance of vigilance in conservation efforts. With the smugglers gone and the nest cleared, the birds gradually returned. Their cheerful chirping filled the air once more, a sound that Tim had missed dearly. The park regained its natural rhythm, a wildlife sanctuary, and a peaceful retreat for visitors. The restoration of this harmony was a soothing balm to the disruptions that had occurred.